If you saw Lee Thompson's Dateline report earlier this year on a new type of automobile crash test, you probably haven't looked at the federal government's auto safety standards the same way since. The new test more closely duplicates the conditions in an actual crash. Tonight, an update. The surprising result when one of the best-selling cars in America was tested. Once again, here's Lee Thompson with the Dateline Consumer Alert. It was a dramatic test. The first of its kind. A new way to measure safety. This occupant's compartment is not held up very well. You can see that. There's a major buckle here. Last spring, Dateline cameras took you behind the scenes at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. You can see how his foot is jammed up there. Mm. That oh, left yeah. foot. It's funded by large auto insurance companies. Its goal, to make cars safer. See that smear off there? Right. In this case, by conducting America's first ever series of so-called offset crash tests. A crash test very different from the kind the U.S. government does. This is the government's crash test. You see the bags working very well. Brian O'Neill heads up the Insurance Institute. This car passes the government test. Passes it with flying colors. In the government's test, the force of the crash is absorbed evenly across the full front of the car. But in the Institute's new test, it's concentrated on one side, just like many real-world accidents. The results can be alarmingly different. This is the uh, same car you just saw in the government test in our test. Look at the difference. <gasps> Incredible. <laughs> Last spring, Dateline showed you how some popular new cars could pass the government safety standards but fail the Institute's new test. One of the cars, the Ford Contour. You see it's actually tearing and ripped apart in there? Although there were no serious injuries to the head or chest, the Institute said the Contour did a poor job of protecting the driver's legs. This is a crash where someone could not walk away. This is a crash where you'd have major injuries brakes, dislocations to both legs, both feet. But one of the best cars was also from Ford. The top-selling Taurus. The safety cage is held together very well. But since the original round of crash tests last spring, Ford has introduced a totally redesigned Taurus, with styling more like the Contour, and sales projected at more than 400,000 cars this year. The question, in a crash, how will the new version of America's best-selling car measure up? Dateline cameras are behind the scenes again. As experts from the Institute prepare the new 1996 Taurus. The dummy precisely positioned. Grease paint applied to mark where the dummy hits. Move it to the IBAS B port on the Motec rear. Computerized sensors check and double check. The IDAS is now armed. All to try to tell how well you would be protected if this car crashed into another, both of them going about 38 miles an hour. Clear the runway. Remember, Dateline had no say in how the Taurus was chosen, tested, or evaluated. Three, two, one. On the outside, the styling may look like the contour. We're seeing the beginnings of buckling and bending here. But underneath, its structure proved just as sturdy as the old Taurus. It's going to be a good, good rating overall, though. Uh, no question. Watch again, this time through the Institute's slow-motion cameras. The major damage is confined to the frontal area of the car. That's where you want the damage to be contained. You don't want the damage to extend into the occupant compartment. And all in all, this car performed outstandingly in the test. The only weakness? The Institute says the Taurus's headrests don't lock, increasing the risk of whiplash in a rear-end accident. In a written statement, Ford told us all of its cars meet or exceed all federal standards, that the company is incorporating offset crash tests in its design program, but that it's important to take a comprehensive approach to crash testing instead of relying on a single test.
Tomorrow, the Institute will release a new list of the 16 mid-sized cars it has tested so far, ranking them from good to poor. The car at the very top, the new 1996 Ford Taurus. For detailed crash test information about all 16 mid-sized cars, foreign and domestic, tested by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Crash Test, Box 1420, Arlington, Virginia, 22210. The information is free.